<laughs> it is going to be more seasonal, though, for the New Year's holiday. So if you're planning ahead, pay close attention to what we have rolling through right now because on the backside of this storm system, numbers are falling off by nearly 30 degrees. The rain, though, is starting to wrap up at this point. So let's take you to the northeast side of the state from Muncie to Marion, closer to Huntington. This is going to be up near Fort Wayne, where the rain is slowly pushing out of the eastern side of the state. Still some lingering showers down through Henry County, Newcastle to Rushville right now. But a bulk of this moisture is out of here. This is the past six hours, your radar loop. We've had a ton of rain that started late Saturday night, continued through the course of the day yesterday. It is now finally working its way out in many spots, picking up over an inch of rainfall. This is in the past 24 hours, so storm totals going all the way back to Saturday night. Many spots over an inch of rain. We were over an inch in Indianapolis, three quarters of an inch in the past 24 hours, over an inch in Greencastle, Shelbyville, an inch and a half in Richmond. Areas that uh, are low lying potentially still going to be water covered today, so that does include your roadways. Definitely noticed a lot of ponding on the sides of roads on my way into work this morning, so take it easy when traveling. Water. Is certainly going to be an issue uh, out on the roads early today. Now, the warm sector of this low pressure system has now moved out. Now, Ohio is getting in on some of that more mild air, moving off to the east. We're down to 43 degrees in Indianapolis, but noticing the cold air in place near Des Moines, Iowa. We're back into the 20s. We're not going to get that cold, but we're certainly going to be significantly colder than what we had around the past several days. In fact, we were in the 50s all last week. We're at 43 right now and numbers that are expected to fall over the next several hours. We'll go 38 degrees by 6 a.m. Still a little bit of lingering moisture will translate into some mixed showers with temperatures that will fall close to freezing by noon today, around 34 degrees at noon. And then we're going to get even colder tonight. So here we go on Future Track 13. We'll pause here at 7 a.m. where any of that leftover rain will start to translate over into a brief wintry mix. We're going to be mainly dry today. There's really not a lot of moisture to work with here, but with the clouds in place, just a little bit of moisture and that much colder air. Here's 33 at 4 p.m. We might see some light snow showers mixing with rain through the evening and afternoon hours today. 32 degrees at 7 p.m. and then through the evening tonight, you'll notice it's just going to get much colder as we hold steady near freezing through 9 o'clock. Let's take you into our Tuesday for our New Year's Eve. We do have some wraparound moisture that might bring some light snow showers in during the first part of the day, but a gradual clearing into the afternoon. But notice your temperatures here. It's going to be an overall much colder day. Here's that chance of some light snow early in the morning. Here's 7 a.m. on Tuesday. Going to be contained mainly north of I-70. But then the sky will start to clear in the afternoon. We'll bring back uh, some brief sunshine in the afternoon. But with a clear sky, this is at midnight as we're ringing in 2020. 30 degrees in Indianapolis, 27 in Muncie, and 27 in Richmond with wind chill values that will potentially fall back into the teens as we get into our New Year's Eve and then New Year's Day. Much colder, but also more, more sunshine, so that's not a bad thing either. Here's 10 p.m. on New Year's Eve. We'll go 30 degrees, 29 as we get into that midnight hour, and then 27, your overnight low falling to 26. That's early New Year's Day. Mostly sunny skies return with temperatures in the lower 40s for the first day of the new year. Temperatures will actually moderate toward the end of the week. We'll go 49 on Thursday with our next chance of rain. Widespread showers expected on Friday, but much warmer. It'll be one of those days where we're stuck in the warm sector of a low pressure system. So we'll get to the mid 50s and then behind that much colder next weekend, dropping back into the 30s.